Uh, I say, it's me, JC, and Buck. Play with but he went to Old Block? Put his body in a truck, then we take him to the dump. And they know we play. Bro, he's like 14. He went to Old Block? How come he just gets to go there? <laughs> okay, so obviously Old Block didn't. They still behind on. This nigga have Ugg boots on and tight skinny jeans. <laughs> bro, this nigga dead ass have Ugg boots and tight skinny jeans on, bro. This is Old Block. I thought these niggas would be on some, like, bro. This is not real. Oh, Dems is Tim's. That don't make it no better. And they black, too. That don't make it no better, bro. What am I seeing? Uh, I said, it's me, JC, and Buck. Play with us, you f Put his body in a truck. Then we take him to the dump. And they know we play for keeps. And they know that we ain't sweep. Grab a brew, we finna sweep. O Block finna clean the streets. Boy, you better grab a heat. Or get put up on a T. Put your name by RIP. Z Nook rapper. He looked like 13. No Any state we on your. No matter where, nigga, flat. Fuck the. Uh, we ain't goofy do that crash. We gon' spin and spin again. We gon' hit our last friends. We gon' show him we ain't playing. We gon' leave him where he stand. That's really, yeah, that's all I wanna be successful. Right, big goof ass, man. Check it out. Hey, no, session where you gotta throw a pole block. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> yeah, Oh, yeah, shit. oh shit! We're here at the uh, Parkway Gardens Housing Development in Chicago, otherwise known as Oh Block, shit. Uh, 24 building complex on the city. Damn! South Side. It's where Michelle Obama grew up, and huh? it's also where Drew. Michelle Obama grew up on O Block. Nah, she just got some respect. What the fuck? She grew up on O Block. It's where Michelle Obama grew up, and it's also where Drill music Please began around around 10 years ago. This is Boss Talk. He's been here for a super long time, so he's gonna take us back to the very beginning where it all started. Bro, why did he have 12 mug shots? You one of the gutter this What's up, Quan Bud? This motherfucker be the last building he cleaned up. Oh, it's a roach. So y'all in the project? See a roach? That's a baby roach. Kill it, bro. That's gonna get bigger. Nigga, kill it. They just live with him, bro? I'm from this building. Nah, I didn't watch Little Baby Doc. My mom in the bathroom on BDN's one bathroom in here. I'm going to piss in the hallway. I still won't touch. Bro, so these apartments are fucking jail cells, bro? They literally look like jail cells. The buttons on the elevator. I'm straight knuckles. Because you think there might be pee on it? Spit, pee, ink. I used to do all types of shit. Uh, uh, true that. True that. Come on, come on. Love you, my nigga. Love you, boy. I'm going to true that. And true that, man. What you think it smell like in here, bro? Hey, yeah, bro. Hey, hey, everybody. What's up? How's it going? What's up? How you doing, man? Yeah. What you think it smell like, bro? <laughs> GDK, 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 GDK. Come on. GDK, bro, GDK, bro. GDK, GDK. Bro, tighten up. Bro, tighten up. He invented that bro, shit. Bro, tighten up, bro. To you, like, what bro. is real music? We started Three dap ups. Let's do a drill. We started that shit. Like, how would you explain drill music to someone who doesn't know? Um, Music that make you wanna kind of get outside and go just be outside you know that makes oh, sense okay okay yeah, so, yeah. it turned you up it give you adrenaline drill music is you niggas something never that... you niggas never seen the projects uh thankfully i have not seen these type of pro projects who is this again wait ain't this a music reviewer Bro, I'm so tired of seeing this nigga after an album drop, bro. Because why the fuck do niggas care about this nigga opinion just to get mad at it? <clears throat> niggas see his opinion, then get mad. Bro, stop watching this nigga. He, bro, he's 50 years old. And he he's literally a 50-year-old white man talking about, um, oh, these rappers are not good. These rappers are 1 out of 10. Bro, why are you... Nigga, if you don't want to see this shit, why are you watching the nigga? 50 is crazy? Bro, how old is he? Anthony Fantano age he's 50 he's 50 years old bro bro niggas listen to a destroyed lonely album and then go listen to his reaction bro and then surprise when he gives it a, <laughs> they surprise when he give a destroyed lonely album a zero out of ten what did you expect bro I mean, in the grander scheme of things, you could see it as... You know, he don't look 50. Lisa, his age. Hey, hey, is your glasses on, bro? He was on the Destroy Lonely yeah. album. He just been saying bullshit. It's violent, but mainly fiction. It's like realistic fiction music. 
So like, and this is why I shot my video, 4K Troll, shot it right here in this park. Right here where you standing that I shot it right here. The, uh, the lyrics are pretty intense in that song. Grab my clock, then I grab my mask and hop out, then I blast. But he ain't like, he pulled out his strap and started shooting back. It sound like it's compact to my, I got a double back, it's finna crack. Yeah, 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 mm. yeah. But it's all entertainment, you see what I'm saying? It's all for, for like the people. Like, cause like music now. This nigga man, wanna be like, Vaughn so bad. Shit. Bro. Drama, drama really makes money. <laughs> you on that nigga me, bro. That's his man's, bro. <laughs> That's his shit. man's, bro. Happening at 65th and King Drive and Parkway Gardens. So what was it like growing up in O Block? We had to grow up. We had to really grow up and grow up fast. All that little I heard that young boy first concert like, concert show is in Chicago. Yeah, I heard that. Everybody around the bitch saying something like that. You know what I'm saying? So it's like we had a brotherhood that can nobody come between. We we not let nothing happen to none of us. Malo couldn't even beat up OD. We gonna fuck Malo ass up, boy. You better not put your hands on folks, boy. Fuck them and pull a pipe out. Hold on. And it's the same way. Like we got each other, boy. Oh girl, we ain't got no deities on BDN. What can you tell us about nigga, the, so the <laughs> nigga? The whole the whole complex don't have a dad, bro. What the fuck, nigga? How the, how is that possible? Cause cause if 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 I'm calculating correctly, don't the dad still got to be on the block? Just like you know what, bro. Twenty eleven. Alright, bro. I experienced like my first um, first friend get killed. Uh, my. My best friend, O.D. Old Block built off daddy issues, bro. In 2011, a Parkway Gardens resident named O.D. Perry, which O Block's now named after, was murdered, gunned down what? just outside the gates of Parkway Gardens. So he named the whole... Damn. That's where O Block came from. What was one of your favorite memories of you and us? Damn. O.D.? I didn't know that. You know, man, I got a lot of them bitches on O. <laughs> he had this crazy-ass doll named 50, bro. Oh, J Money, bro. I was scared of that motherfucker, bro. Oh, oh, uh, like play with the dog. On Kida, I'm like, boy, I ain't mean, playing with that motherfucker. Bro, okay, so hold on, bro. Uh, bro. This one I don't oh, get. Oh, uh, Did my man's nails is freshly done, but he shit and piss in the elevator, bro? Uh, like, play what? What the fuck is the priorities on this block? Hmm. His nails is literally freshly done, but the nigga literally. Nigga literally shit and piss in the elevator, bro. Janix chill. No, bro. Give me my logic. This nigga nails is freshly done. Play with the dog. I'm keep out my boy. I ain't playing with that motherfucking dog, bro. Y'all tripping. Motherfucker run up on me. Ah, blah, blah, blah. Ah, it's your bitch ass on. Oh, right now to the day, I still don't play with people, dogs. I don't give a fuck if that bitch a chihuahua. Bro, get your dog. I want you. I want you. Why was y'all spending Jay money, bro? For the murder of Shondale Tuka Gregory, a rival gang member who lived just a few blocks away on 63rd. I know he said Jay money. my life, cause I had just had my first child and everything. I'm really like traumatized. Like I ain't know if was I supposed to crash out or fall back. And my mom used to be talking to me like, man, you got a daughter. Don't be like these niggas. Don't die. How many uh, friends do you think you've lost since then? Over 10 days on this game, like two motherfuckers a year. I swear to God. Owen Platoon. Swear to God. Man, 11. I swear Ron to God. Whitey and Twill. We got LA and J Money and, and motherfucker died in 13. My, my crowd gone. I gotta hang with them. I gotta hang with them. <laughs> Jesus, them fits. When, 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 it's Jesus. Like when folks died, folks' career took off. When Owen passed away, folks took that shit to another level. Chief Keith and Dirt them came out. They lit this bitch up, you feel me? So it's like. Shortly after Odie's murder, a close friend of his decided to make his first song, which would serve as an O Block anthem to celebrate the life bro, of Odie. And this bro, why did this nigga Chief Keith look like a grown man from like fucking? How old is he here, bro? <laughs> why Shortly did why after is, Odie's murder, a bro? Why does nigga look like a grown ass man when he probably like? 15 in this, friend bro. of his decided to make his first song, which would serve as an O Block anthem to celebrate the life of OD and this living rough ages. Together. You, this, this nigga gotta be like 500 Keith years Kozart, old, AKA bro. Chief Keith. This bitch get the going up. The block bust I just got out. I get out, I see Patoon and White White. Elevator smell like shit, piss, vomit, and had cum stains on the buttons. Patoon put his head down. He like, man, you take your daughter upstairs. I'm gonna holler at you. I take my daughter up. I remember Inky Dinam came up there. Deep as hell, everybody coming eight. Happy as hell. Fat Mac and Stu get the showing out. They get the fight. Hey, hey, Fat Mac. You remember I got out of jail? You want Stu start fighting that day? 
Him and Stu get to fight. Hey, phone them like, man, y'all are showing out because folks just got out. Uh, uh, Dirk Reese come see. I don't know. I just feel like I can smell this hallway, bro, and it don't smell good. Are these actual bedrooms? This is actually tough to be born into, bro. <clears throat> like, is this a bedroom, dog? Hey, hey, fat man. It did us look like you a jail, like, bro. Jail. You want to start fighting today? Him and Stu get to fight. Hey, phone them like, man, y'all are showing out because folks just got out. Uh, uh, Dirk and Reese come see me. Oh, I'm all right. I'm like, I'm feeling love like a motherfucker. I'm damn. Folks don't, folks don't come rap with me. I'm like, I fuck old guy. I don't fuck old guy, you know? You no, know, they rapping with me. Boom, 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 boom. We talking all us and that bitch crying now. I'm like, damn. I just got out. We all crying right now. I'm like, the fuck? I'm fuck that. We ain't even crying. We out here. We get outside. You come to New York, I'm jumping on stage. From a young O Block rapper to one of the most commercially successful rappers in the world with hits like I Don't Like and Hate Being Sober. Why he walking like that? <laughs> why? <laughs> bro, bro, why Chief keep walking like that, bro? Yo. <laughs> <laughs> Chief Keith made it more like global. And before you knew it, white America was doing the hokey bro, pokey that, to murder Oh my music, god, that video unknowingly was, singing along bro, 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 to the bro. anthems of an actual Get them gang niggas on my face playing right out now, in real bro. time. For a year, the conflicts of Oblock were a mystery to the general public. That was until one man came around and exposed the inner workings of Chicago's gang war to the world. <laughs> DJ Academics. 2010, 2011. What the fuck? I'm in college and I'm doing. <laughs> I think it said DJ Academics is the root of all evil. Some, some like Kanye I was not expecting like DJ so Academics, bro. I was kind of gaining an audience, and I remember when the drill scene popped off, and I remember okay. doing a video on Keith, and I was like, I love the music. So I'm reading the comments, and everyone was like, Yo, you're not telling the full story, okay? okay. Because like, I I'm going in there, and I'm doing a quick video, and I'm like, yo, all his ops is dead. You know what I mean? He's dissing them. It's over. You know what I mean? Like, these guys, we don't even need to know their names. And everyone was like, well, no, they're not dead. Bro, isn't it crazy niggas listening to music, like, made specifically off killing other niggas? Like, like everybody bumping them songs, but it's just like, to them niggas, like, yo, I just killed this nigga, I'm about to write this diss. But like, to us, we just like, yeah, and we, and we vibe into this shit. Isn't that, isn't that not crazy, bro? Actually, the guys who, who he's dissing, just killed his guys. They were talking about people like Lil J. They were talking about like the FBG gang. Nigga, fuck T Roy and OD them dead bitch. I'm like, yo, yeah, you know like a song like that, bro. Like niggas is him. niggas is rapping that, song. bro. Chief Keef is going crazy with his songs. So I made this page called the Warren Shot Racket, and I started covering basically just constant feuds that were happening. It's your boy DJ Academics, and now information has come huh? to my attention. What the now, fuck? Yeah, no, <laughs> it's, your boy, it's your boy DJ Academics, and something has come to my attention. <laughs> Bro, now, what? Information has come to, <laughs> <laughs> information has come to my attention. <laughs> it's your boy DJ Academics, and now information has come to my attention. Now, y'all know I call Lil Reese the Chirac Grim Reaper. Well, pretty much because every time you look through his mentions, you see a bunch of dead niggas. CBS Chicago is reporting that a nah, just year old little nigga police, little bro. Nick from Six Hunter was shot multiple times, and then he was brought to a hospital where he bro. was pronounced dead by the Cook County bro, bro. Medical Examiner. At least he died doing what he loved best. Someone actually told me that these guys actually keep score on killing and coonery within Chirac. The nah, this, he's not nah, this is a nerd, bro. What's up, Lost? No, bro. No. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share. What's up? It's your boy, the gas in the dicks, and something has come to my attention. What's up, Tanisha? Happy birthday. Damn, 20? How many people do you think have died in the war in Chirac? Happy birthday, Tanisha. This past weekend, at least 52 people were shot, eight of them killed. In the following years, between 2011 and 2020, 5,518 people were murdered in Chicago. Damn. Damn. These men have self-proclaimed Chiracologists. Damn, Reddit page. damn, question mark, question mark, you are 23, my nigga Sodium. I know you like dick riding and whatever, bro, but that wasn't a, a an insult, 
of a damn. That was like a damn, I didn't know it was your birthday type of damn. But since you want to hop on my dick and ride it, nigga, go ahead then, bro. I wasn't even saying damn like that. These niggas are bitches or hoes. See, appreciate the gift of sub. I can't fuck with these niggas or bitches or hoes unless they have jazz. I never seen a place where life was valued less than Chicago. To this day, I've never been to Chicago. What's up, Maya? I feel like things bad everywhere. Things just bad in Chicago because, like, this shit came like a movie to people. Like, when it first got famous, people started, like, it was like we was characters. Like, damn. Like, that is how they treat like them, bro. Assassin. They treat them just like that, bro. Energy they that literally treat the, the Chicago and niggas like and you become invested in the story. pawns on the it's chess like a chessboard. Soundtrack to a movie and they're trying to get Lil like Dirt to slide, bro. Soundtrack to a movie that you're watching live. You know, I'm looking at this not like on some voyeuristic, like, yo, oh shit, this is like entertaining. I'm like horrified. What I try to do is satire, hoping people could look at that and be like, that looks ridiculous. These dudes, like, they're disgusting, right? People took it and they ran with it. Everything I thought that people would be like, Yo, this is some sick shit they loved. We have mm -hmm. a bloodthirsty audience, especially in music. The more people die, when someone gets locked up, their streams are through the roof. Music sales, That's facts, bro. That's facts. Trust me. I that was the driving force in against some of these guys, other than I don't know why that's the thing, but that's facts, bro. To some of the, their stuff. So, did you feel responsible for like? I don't know about locked up though. Gang tension. Because Pusha T got locked up, and I did not start streaming Hell that nigga no. music. But let me tell you, this accountability is hard to take, man. They say, yo, well, you gave people nicknames. And when you gave someone a nickname of Grim Reaper, some other guy born to try to get that nickname. And I'm like, I don't believe I caused any murder, but if you, if my videos, because they were popular, instigated any two parties, I'll take blame for that. But motherfucker, if you picked up- Hey, gun, there I'm go that semen, nigga. We gonna when give I him some. In, Chirac, in quotation, in jail. Day, I was on Twitter watching people bleed out. And I was like, I can't believe this is- like people getting shot like dogs. What's up, Puncho? Down, everybody filming it, and then you go on social media, and everybody say, "I'm smoking on the pack." Blame for for you doing that. The parents gotta take blame for not being the kids' lives. The cops gotta take blame for them basically just like throwing their hands up in the air and saying, "Let everybody kill each other." Like these motherfuckers, that like everybody wants an easy scapegoat. Listen, stop acting like a bitch ass nigga and just fight, bro. Leave the pipes alone, fight. JXG Mari says this is the Argentinian it's Central so Intelligence, up, obviously. Like Bro, how the fuck, how the fuck is this nigga gonna say leave the pipes down and fight? Nigga, huh? <laughs> Bro. This, Bro, what the fuck? Nigga, the murders is coming from your block, bro. <laughs> what the, the mur nigga, the murders is coming from your shit. What the fuck do you mean? It's so fucked up now, it's like a 12 year old just said, ah, I'll pop you. So not a 12 year old. You like, bro, just fight him. Why do you think that happened? Well, nigga, you just yeah, told a, a four year old to say, being GD a blank. A music played a part. But music won 100%. Why everybody doing this? It's your fucking mama and your fucking daddy. You get what I'm saying? You teach him young, bro. It's your mama and your daddy, bro. It's not, it nah, I said you good, shorty. Nigga, I ain't saying that shit. Raised, cool. But, like, Raise your fucking kids right. Oh, oh. I don't think it's real but music. This nigga just said, raise your kids right. But he just looked his son in the eye and said, say you GD blank and tell him, told him throw up the sign, bro. Is this nigga serious, bro? Oh, I promise you. If if we was to take drill music away right now and it'd be regular hip hop, it's still going to be the same type of violence. Everybody wants to be, everybody want to be a character now for the internet. On social media, beefing, making threats, making great comments. Like going <laughs> why on is he on the mic, like, bro? You know, waving the gun in the fucking camera. Um, you know, it's like it, it's 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 almost like a competition to see who can push it the furthest. I feel like this attention. Jenny's guy TD. because you know there is a fair what amount of cloud chasing, this shot, yeah. and you know that is a toxic element. In that way, do you think that drill is like? Bad and he's on a lawnmower. No, because the thing um, is like the the realities um, of what was right. discussed in that music was, was there before the music was there. The music is just an expression of Yo, the lawn mowing is actually that. very Like when you're talking about relaxing. inner city gun violence, you're talking about poverty. It's very you're talking about poor education systems. It's like peaceful. You're talking about like low access to food. Yeah, it's therapeutic. Low economic opportunities. Those are the kinds of solutions that you would need to apply to that situation. If you could go back in time, you like you working in the field? Like hey, maybe. Shit. You know, you know I've grown was it appropriate? Probably wouldn't do that again. I wouldn't do it again just because um I don't have I a lawnmower that I ride. I have one that I. And when you push. see people are kids, 
these people who are doing murders, like Ronald right number nine was like seventeen. Marto did. What are you drills talking about? All that type of shit. It's easy to <laughs> be outraged and also say, "Damn, how could you guys take up these close up of act pissing me off?" You don't think he cute? What you mean? Nah, for real. I'm not trying to see him. You don't think he cute? Life so easily, but <laughs> you gotta think about the yeah. cycle of mental <laughs> issues that they're having, that they're suppressing. Yeah, he had, the um, of the war in he had a he had an RPG. Academic yeah. formula was replicated hundreds of times, creating a concentrated YouTube algorithm that turned gang drama into an online mega industry. One of the channels in this algorithm is called No Jumper, which is quite. Am I really from the war ugly? Chirac. Nonetheless, <laughs> <in> many <laughs> interviews. Am I ugly? ugly? Am I really Do you ugly? Know about gang shit when you first moved to Florida. When did you actually become a five five crip? You are widely known to be associated with the Hoovers. Some of the rat and annoying hating on the look in the looks department. Out with, with many, many <laughs> Bro, views. what? Again, like you Nigga just said shirts. rat and annoying. Nigga, you just said the same person. What do you? Nah, you're high as fuck. Rat? Do you mean rat in academics, bro? <laughs> Nigga said. Nigga said the same two people. A hypothetical but in this this one you actually mentioned <laughs> that a specific rapper from chicago called a girl six every time, time this nigga stream his throat right. fuck it what you do behind the scenes oh, nigga, i just called yeah, bro know. so i, I went on call. the podcast and spoke to the host adam 22 about the ethics of producing monetized gang content do you think drill music is a uh, bad for society yeah definitely how come because people are in gangs killing each other and making songs about it and making it sound super cool. Act and really turned this like into a whole ass, ass reality man. show. Hey, Perkins, how you feel knowing the milk that How you feel knowing the milk that turned into a zoo animal? It, it's probably got to be a net. I think it made you a gorilla. Just the romanticization of violence in general. Do you think you helped make it look cool? Probably. Probably. I feel like when they're on a beat with a fucking 808 going crazy, and they're able to like rhyme and make less sense that that probably is like when it sounds coolest because they don't really talk about that in interviews right i mean uh, most, like, didn't the don't Chicago, commit like, suicide that guy whatever. beat like, it the amount of like street you shit mean, you're gonna be able to oh, get talk about in an interview is pretty minimal yeah, in comparison to the stuff that they're essentially saying in their songs it just must be crazy because like you talk to so many people who like have died recently <sighs> like you're what you're like the last person to interview um fbg cash right there his name's on the wall. Yeah. Mm. Do you feel any responsibility for like inflaming like gang beef by having so many gang members use this platform to promote themselves? No, because I mean, I feel like this is a hip hop platform that long ago has kind of been clear to me that that's more or less the, the gist of what we're doing, you know? Like there was a long time where I didn't do any street shit. You know, in the beginning it was mostly like SoundCloud type stuff. I don't know if like, the interviews dark, make it worse. You know, internet shit. We've gone more in that direction. Right, the interviews like, definitely don't of, make it like, worse. It's also the direction rap's gone in. It's it's tough to get away from Not the fact him. that the fans just want what they want. You know, as a content creator, you kind of have to follow the incentives. Yeah, Marto Dick, take your medication, take dog. Where the fans Lord. like want this shit to be Find real. They don't want to hear you say, I'll, I'll shoot you if mother you, if you or come near father me. figure. They want to hear you say, <laughs> so and so on the other side own? got killed because he fucked with me. Like the fans are really drawn to that kind of immersion, I guess. Whenever you grew up here, did you guys spend a lot of time in other parts of Chicago? Like, did you ever go like downtown or to other areas or were you mostly here? I spent a lot of years inside this gate. Have you been to a, like, a Cubs game or anything? Yo, what do you think he had to do for this old block chain? <clears throat> What's up, Saucy? Because not every nigga on Old Block got that Old Block chain. What you think he had to do for that chain? Hmm? Vaughn gave him up. What you think he had to do for that chain? You guys want to go to the White Sox game with us? What made him that yeah, nigga yeah, for yeah, real? Go. White Sox! White Sox! White Sox! White Sox! Fuck the Cubs, fuck the Orioles, fuck the Yankees, White Sox. Bro. 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 Bro, do you think you've ever been close to a murderer before? Yeah, my uncle, uh, Nathy, um, um, <clears throat> but this made me realize, like, imagine being at a baseball game or a fucking, a convention or, uh, anywhere, bro, or in Walmart, like, we've probably been next to a murderer before, a murderer before. I'm not gonna lie, I need story time. I need story time. Dirty American Jaden, don't you niggas 
White Sox! Cut, cut off White niggas' heads and skin their bodies? White Sox! White Sox! White Sox! White Sox! Can y'all at least say something different, bro? Like, go White, White Sox. White Sox! What's up, Sue? They represent the South Side pride, that blue collar man. Like, the South Side's way better than the North Side. Never I don't wear condoms unless you have to. <laughs> What's the situation in which you'd have to use a condom? Every time. Never. Never. <laughs> I'm married, What's so I haven't that? actually used condoms in 15 years. <laughs> Raw dog stands for Jack Harlow. Jack Harlow only. Sorry. Boss Top. What? What, what do you think about condoms? What I think about condoms. Raw I dog status right for Raw Jack well, Harlow Jack only. Jack Harlow is not my type. What makes um, white socks fans different from other fans? Sometimes they wear white socks, but not on a regular basis. Loyalty. Why? Why? For Jack Harlow only. No. No? Exactly. What do you think your most controversial opinion is? Like Jack like, Harlow. For example, um, I believe that aliens have visited the United States of America. Uh, so do I. I also believe that the earth is not it, it's not round. I also believe that the government is hiding out of ship from us. I also believe that the government has taken over our you know our country. Like you think the earth is flat? <laughs> I I think the government has taken over our country. <clears throat> My nigga, they literally run the country. What is this nigga talking about, bro? I think the government has taken over my country. Um, bro, sometimes when niggas get drunk, bro, they think they the next woke and they think they about to have the next think piece or something, bro. What is this nigga talking about, bro? You think the earth's I flat? Mean, we have ideologies, right? We have ideas. So like, who, who are we to judge? White Sox hamburgers. Comiskey hmm? dog right here. We got two patties, two scoops Bro. of cheddar cheese, and we put the pico and dagaya on top. Say it ain't so, Joe. Hamburger, 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 hamburger. Yo, my brother, do they got you speaking like this, bro? Do he need to be freed? Do they got him speaking like this? My brother, you you can stop doing this, bro. Like, we good now. We good now, bro. <laughs> they, bro, you don't have to do this no more. Hamburger, hamburger, hamburger. What's your biggest fear in the world? Hot dog, hot dog, hot dog, hot dog, hot dog, hot dog. Bro, bro. Bro. How do you feel about the rapper Yeet? Bro, bro. He's all right. Can you name Can, can you name five songs? Turban. Mm. Mad about that. Sorry about that. Mm. Money is so big. Mm. And uh, what's it called? What's it yeah. Called? Yeah. yeah. What's your favorite thing about Yeet? <laughs> yeah. Music. What would you say if Yeet was here right now? Yeah. I don't know. What would you say if you could be digitally connected with Yeet in some form? Come on, Yeet. What answer the, the goddamn phone. What the? God damn it. What the? We love Yeet. We got, we made it. We actually made it here, guys. Yeah. Fucking drink to that. Why, why we did you just randomly start, like, start talking about Yeet, though? Sperm. We are huh? sperm at its best. You're a philosopher. Yo, that's low-key, that's low-key facts. You can never say you haven't done anything in life until you realize that you were that one little cell of semen that made it to the egg, bro. You can never say you haven't done that. Like that's crazy to think about. Like there was a bunch of scenes. Says bro, this bitch was eyeing me at the gym, so I hit her with the silent riz. Long story short, him banned now. Nigga, tell you bro. If you think about it, but it was a, there was millions of semen going to that egg, bro. But who broke, who broke through? Hey, yeah, we are the egg too. But like, come on, dog. You know damn well you just chatting right now. All right. Consider myself a philosopher, yes. Would you guys want to hear my whole philosophy? Yes. yes. Oh, shit. All right. Oh, yeah. All right. You guys watching this? What's this your, is, this is my philosophy. You just saw it happen. I didn't know that guy. I didn't, I, I could not associate with him. Of any Fought part off of that birth being, control. But I let him go through. Because he's a, he's a fellow human being, you know? So his agenda, you got to consider that. And he wanted to go through. It, it wasn't um, like, uh, I get deep. you know, like negatively imperative to me. So I let him through. That's what I think we should all do, you know? Try to fucking make it better for everybody. If you can. Different team might be the same team in the long Jeez. run. We don't know. <laughs> My fault. I, I know, bro. I know we get it deep right now. We talk about your team and shit, but, bro, being able to use your belly as an armrest. <laughs> bro, belly for an armrest is, bro, my nigga, that is, I don't know if I'm impressed or if I'm like, damn, bro. 
I know we're getting deep right now, but it's like, what the fuck? We don't know. Maybe different teams right now could end up being on the same team, but you know, right now. No way he getting this he's emotional not on my over team, this. I don't know who the hell he is, but we're both at the Sox game, so I guess we're not on the same team in that sense. What's up, Zulu? Yes, sir. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm really push out of tune. I'm push out of tune. I'm my manager. Bro, every downtown and every city look the same. This look just like downtowns in Texas. Everything look the exact same.